What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being out here with me today. Pretty breezy out here today, but we're about a little over a week and a half away from turkey season here in Indiana. Like I always say, turkey season here in Indiana just comes in way too late. A lot of states are already in, a lot of birds going down. Uh, is what it is. Uh, it's always the last week. Uh, it seems like it's always the last Wednesday of the month of April. So we're about a week and a half, a little more than a week and a half away. And uh, coming out here today, set up about 40 yards right now. Put a new red dot on the Benelli. Um, been shooting the Benelli for quite a while now, but did decide to go with the red dot just because I like red dots so much. Uh, something I've been wanting to do in the past and finally pulled the trigger. Um, went with the Swamp Fox Justice on this. This is a 27 millimeter version. Uh, really like it. It's kind of set up you know, kind of like the EOTech type uh, window pane, the glass like that, uh, really small, compact, and one of the main reasons I like it is the shake and wake. So say you're sitting there in the turkey woods, uh, after four minutes, this thing's gonna turn off, save battery. Uh, anytime the shotgun moves, this thing wakes up on its own. You don't have to push on or off each time to turn it on or turn it off, which that's really nice. I really like the, the aspect of that, saving the battery life, as well as just always being ready no matter what. Uh, that's a big proponent of mine and uh, anxious to get this thing sighted in. Going to start out with just some cheap loads here to get it on paper. I'll flip you guys around and show you the target, but shoot some cheap loads at first. And then um, the last couple shots, we'll make sure that the Winchester Longbeard XR uh, three and a halfs are on target and we're good to go for turkey season. So we'll get you flipped around here and let's shoot some shots down range and see how it does. All right. I always target practice shoot just like I would out in the natural environment so I'm sitting in my turkey chair right here and we're gonna shoot these cheap light loads down here just to get it on paper get it close and then we'll switch to the good stuff all right we'll go take a look at that see where it's at so hopefully this GoPro picks it up, but you can see that we're really far down and to the right. Bunch of little pellets here, and then not very much even on paper, nothing in the kill zone. So we're going to go up and left pretty good, make an adjustment, and then we'll try it again. All right, I shot that first one at about, I think it was about 30 yards, so I moved back here to 40 where I typically shoot at. You guys aren't going to be able to see much as far as downrange on the target until the last couple shots or the last shot. Uh, then I'll use a reactive target at that point. But right now it's just a piece of paper with a turkey on it. So shoot another one down there. I made an adjustment. And we'll see if we're up and to the left some now. Super windy out here today. All right, now you can see we're getting a little bit better. Uh, it's hard to tell from this load. This is just a cheap uh, kind of clay pigeon load. So not even close to what true turkey round is, but we'll make some changes. Uh, might go up just a little bit more um, and maybe just a little bit more to the left. Then I think I'll go ahead and shoot uh, one of the Winchester long beards and see where we're at. All right, I got the splatter target on there now, reactive target, and we'll go take a shot. We're gonna go with the three and a half inch Winchester Longbeard XR, and see where that falls. Here we go. A little more gunpowder behind those or something. Man, I love those. All right, let's go take a look. All right, here we are. I think I'll come left just a tad bit more and then bring it up and I think we'll be really good. So I'm gonna go put another reactive target on and shoot another round and see where we're at. All right, we came up a little bit more. To the left a little bit more. And we'll see where we're at now. Got a good clean target on there. Hopefully this is the one.
That looks a lot better. If anything, maybe to the right, but I can't really tell from here. All right, that's looking better. I think I went to the left just a little bit too much. Not, not by much, but I will come back to the right. And I think I'll leave my elevation where it's at. But I will take it to the right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, these would all be kill shots too. We've got quite a few there. Bring it to the right just a little bit. We've got one target left I'll put on and uh, shoot one more. All right, we're gonna go to the right just a tad bit. This thing tracks really well. Really happy with this Swamp Fox. I've got one of their micro dot versions on one of my Glocks. Been really happy with it. So that's kind of what led me to uh, try one for the turkey gun here. But you can see just like a regular scope adjustment, you got your windage here, and then you've got your elevation right there. And I really like the fact that the battery is accessible through the top. Some of these red dots, you gotta remove it completely and flip it over and there's your battery compartment. But this one's accessible through the top, which is really nice because you don't lose your zero that way. So we're gonna go to the right. Just a little bit. And hopefully this will be the last one. Save some of this expensive ammo, right? And here we go, we're hot. I forgot to record that one on the main camera last time. Um, I still need to go right. That didn't change at all. I did shoot its eye out, uh, so that's a kill shot, but not happy with that. I'm gonna move it to the right and count how many reds I have here. So I don't have any other reactive targets. One, two, three. I'll move it to the right more and see where it hits. All right, made another adjustment to the right. Shoot one final shot here. That looks better. Tail already. Yeah, that's much better. We got all kinds of them in the kill zone now. Well, come on now. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, maybe 26. And three of them were from last time, so that's 23 from 40 yards and a ton of yellows. So I am good with that. She's dialed in and we're ready to go to the turkey woods. All right, I think we're ready. Took one more shot than I was anticipating, but that's fine. Um, that second to last shot, I might've made an incorrect adjustment. I'm not sure, because it sure felt like it went to the left more than it did to the right, but that's fine. Uh, wasted one extra round. Three or four bucks there, um, but she's ready. Ready to head back to the woods. You guys should really check out these little optics by uh, Swamp Fox, really good company, really quick shipping. Uh, by no means am I sponsored, affiliate, anything like that. They don't know me from Joe. But uh, I just support and talk about good companies here on my channel, as I always do. So, big firm believer in them, and uh, really like this Benelli that I've been using for a while, and I'm ready to get back out in the woods. So hopefully I can bring you guys some good footage this year. So any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.